10 years ago, a solar power innovator named Milan Friedrich stumbled upon World War II-era blueprints detailing the manufacturing and assembly of an unidentified flying object. While researching the validity of the plans, he began collaborating with former UN agents. Their original top secret mission, communication with extraterrestrials and exploiting them for military purpose. After completing his research and undergoing intensive training, Milan decided to help. Maintain flight level 300. AHA 25, Prog Tower. I'm picking up a raw target at your 11 o'clock, not painting a transponder. Maybe at a low altitude sector. Do you copy? AHA 25, Prog Tower. I repeat, I am picking up a raw target at your 11 o'clock, not painting a transponder. It may be at a low altitude sector. Do you copy? AFA-25 would like to advise Praha Tower that target cannot be at a low altitude. Target is above me, descending through my 350 tower. Say again, AHA-25. AHA-25, Roger. You have traffic at 11 o'clock in descending. Observing a lighted object moving to our... This is our 10, approaching our 9. Approaching our 9 o'clock position at a high rate of speed. AHA-25, copy that. We're checking to see if anyone knows who this is. Stand by. AHA-25, can you see the aircraft type? It's heading right for us, course 137. This thing is moving like a ballistic missile, Praha Tower. Targeting the river. Uh, bright lights, alternating white to red. AHA-25, repeat, we have lost target. Do you still have visual? Negative broad tower. AHA-25, I was painting an unidentified target coming at you from 8 miles, 11 o'clock position, and now you're telling me that it's just gone? Affirmative broad tower. It was there. And then it wasn't. Do you remember that time we were, you, we were running through the forest? Yes. And uh, we had that little dog, what was his name? Maxi? We named him Maxi. Maxi. Yeah, Maxi. And he latched onto the back of your pants, <laughs> and you kept running, no. and he was no. pulling him down. No, <laughs> We could see your little bottom. It's not true. It was true, come on, you no. remember Maxi. No, I <laughs> Yeah, I remember. You remember? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you remember Maxi. I... I don't remember the drive being so beautiful. Yeah, you always love this drive. Much longer until we get there. 
You sound just like your mother. That's the first time you've said it to me since... I'm glad you changed your mind, Terry. It's been way too long. I love you, Daddy. Can't wait to see the cottage. <laughs> Almost there. It's been a while, huh? Okay. It's a new day. Come on, your holiday begins now. Come on, what are you waiting for, monkey? An invitation? <sighs> oh, sweetness. Hey, 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 hey. I miss her too, Terry. I, uh, I miss mom. More than you know. Hey, hey, you, you, no, no, that's that's not true. I I speak three languages, okay? I speak uh, English, Australian, and American. All the places I've lived. Ale tady žiješ 20 let a pořád neumíš česky. Yeah, but I understand every single word. To není omluva. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe it's this place, but I think so much clearer when we're together. Hey, I did notice it's pretty. Thank you. It was a gift. And I think it's great you're going back to school here in Europe. Maybe eventually working at the company. So what changed your mind? I met a guy. What? What? I mean, that's, that's great. <laughs> really? So that's what changed your mind about coming up to the cottage. Dad, it was hard for both of us when mom disappeared. And I'm just really happy now. And I was hoping that you would be happy for me. What's his name? Robert. Can't wait to meet Robert. He's a very lucky man. But she'll always be my monkey. Love you, Dad. Love you. Good night. Good night. Dead power surgeon again. Must be that old generator. I thought I had that fixed. I thought you had that fixed. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay. I'll take it apart tomorrow. Good night. Well, maybe Robert can fix it.
we choose to forget. Terry? Mr. Fell, you're awake. Terry? Terry? 
where's... Where's Terry? Where is she? Oh, where, where is... Where's Terry? You sustained a severe concussion, expect headaches, and some severely bruised ribs. Also mild hypothermia from exposure. If the police hadn't found you when they did, it she could was, have been much, much worse. She was, she was a gift from above. Where is she? Uh, Doc, um, why won't you tell me where she is? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> well, you can't. I see, see this, this is, this is, I'm okay. All right, there, there's nothing wrong with me. Please. Where's my daughter? I, I can't. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Uh, are you able to tell me what happened to my daughter? Agent Ray Bowie. Cop Ray Bowie? Because if you're not a cop, I'd like to, to finish up with the medical staff. Fine by me, but he's not going to tell you what you want to know. It's been a terrible accident, as you know. An earthquake, big one, 6.8, so I heard. Unusual for these parts, for sure. No, I didn't know. Your cottage is gone, Mr. Fell came down when the fault slipped. A fire, too, something about a faulty generator. Yeah, I, I remember we were having generator problems. Must be why you and your daughter ran to the woods. A fire? No, I, I don't remember any fire. At least that's where we found you. The swamps, half a click from your cottage. Where's Terry? Hate to be the one to break this to you, Mr. Fell, but we haven't been able to locate her body. We're dredging the swamps now as we speak. So unless you can give me some place more productive to look. <laughs> She's all I... I gave him a sedative. He needs to calm down and get some rest. When Mr. Fell is sorted, please let me know. We're just starting to get acquainted. I'll wait outside. Just relax, Mr. Fell. This will put you to sleep. I'll be outside if you need me. Show me the scene.
Give me a five mile perimeter and let me know when the crime scene photos are up. Sir, did you get anything? Not yet. <sighs> Take care of that, Robert. Hey, 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 hey you, you can go in there right now. Hey. Excuse me. He's running, let's go. This, this is crazy. This is damn crazy. Come on. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, not again. Now who would you be shooting at behind the wheel of your expensive car here? I remember, I remember what happened. Terry, wait! Terry! There were about, about 20 of them. They were taking her there, over there, towards that harvester.
You sure she wasn't trying to take your car? Excuse me? You sure Terry, your daughter, wasn't, say, mad at you? Why would she be mad at me? Maybe because you two had a fight about your wife, her mother. She disappeared at this very cottage, what, almost two years ago? You know nothing about my wife. Uh, it's like you were chasing after someone. Took a shot with that. Luckily, she managed to get behind the door before you did. Bang! We checked. Gunshot residue. What, what is that? No, what the, what the hell is that? Show me. No, that's Terry's. That's Terry. Show me that. What? Yeah, I fired the gun. But that's not what happened. That is not what happened. I you... thought you couldn't remember what happened, Mr. Fell. Get it cleaned up.
David. It's Martin. Martin, where the hell are you? What's going on? The cops have been caught. I don't know what they are, but they're not cops. Of course they're cops. Who else would they be? She's not dead, David. What? Harry, she's not dead, David. I can't lose them both, David. You hear me? Not like this. I need a few days to figure this all out. Hello? Joanna Cesi. Who is this? My name is Martin Fell. I, I got your number from the internet. I, no, wait, from, from the, the, the chat between you and... The pilot. AF-825 is a pilot. He saw the symbol and the UFO. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Who are you? Hey, you can't get in here. Please turn around. Turn around now. You. Hey, do you, do you hear me? You gotta back up now. You saw the symbol, didn't you? What symbol? A clockwise spiral with a center mark. You obviously know what I mean. Let me guess. You're seeing it everywhere you look. Yeah. Ever since... The abduction. We choose to forget. Are you a believer, Martin Fell? I don't know what to believe. I just, I just can't quite remember everything. Memory is a strange thing. We think it's set in stone, but in reality, it's more like water. Anyone who's lost someone knows the feeling. It's fluid, water. And I'm drowning. And so am I. They took my daughter, Terry. Wait. Where are you? I, I don't know. Uh, an internet cafe. 
Why? Run. Sh shit. Come on, Martin. Calm. Hi, you've reached Martin Fell. Please leave a message. Martin, call me back, please. Tell me where you are, and I'll come meet you. I'm here, Fall. There's no fire, no earthquake. Where is she? Where is she? You wish you'd answer yourself that question. Yeah? Maybe this has some answers, huh? You lying bastard. Let him go. How did you know they were coming? I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Asian Bowie was there. I took his tablet. There's so much information on here. I found a file. More like a, a collection of case files on it. Go on. Bowie knows everything about Anna's disappearance two years ago from the cottage. Everything. He's been tracking Terry and I ever since. Who's Anna? My wife. There's hundreds of cases on here. All investigated by Agent Bowie, all the same. Red, white, flashing unknown object. Someone abducted or missing after the event. A symbol, the symbol, left all over the crime scene. I got a ping. Confirming that he's MSI. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. He's got notes on these cases and he's stamped the same thing on each one. Unchosen. What's Bowie covering up? Confirmed. Let's get a trace now. Where? Ashiska Street. It's apartment. Let's go. They're tracing your phone. We need to meet. Hang up. Get on the bus, get off at the river, the stop at Brejova. Call me when you reach the water. I think he's on a bus. And it stops at Listopadu and Brejova, which means he's going to the river. Where are you? I'm almost there. Where'd you next? There! Oh, boy! Hey! Hey! Uh, boy! It's not him! What's wrong with you? Oh, what's your problem, man? Shit! Huh? Hey! Yeah. Okay, where am I going? With me. I know you. Yeah, I, uh... You get that a lot these days. 
Martin fell. Good to see you. Yeah. Come on. That's Yasik. I'm Joe, short for Joanna. Get in. And dump your phone in the river. I will circle back. They probably have our eyes on us. Give you two a head start. Hmm? I will meet up with you at the power plant tomorrow. Hey. Where are we going? To see Lance. It was like a campfire, only controlled. It's going red, white, red, white, and so bright I could barely look at it. And if I did for too long, the brilliance looked like a combination of red, blue, and green, and it created this incredible pain behind my eyes. Running to the light, the ship, and knowing Terry was inside, just staring at it till it went white. I burned that symbol into my mind. I don't know, like, like I suddenly tuned it in. Like maybe it was already there? You think I've seen it before? Not just you. We all have. All of us have seen it. All of us? All the unchosen. Wait, unchosen? The ones that weren't taken. Like you, like me. Lance has been finding us and bringing us together. There's more like us? Someone was taken from you, too. Someone was taken from me, but I don't know who. I know who took them and, and how. I know so much, and that's why Bowie's been after me ever since. He seems to know an awful lot about all of us. Assuming I'm one of the Unchosens as well. Well, according to Lance, you're the prize jewel of the Unchosen. Me? Why me? I'll let Lance tell you. By the way, how's your head? Is it still throbbing? It won't stop. The symbol. Yeah, tell me why I keep seeing this crazy swirling symbol in my head everywhere I look. It's a signal. I don't follow. A beacon? That's how they tell us where to meet them. And you see the symbol everywhere as well. Not anymore. Now I only see it when I cross paths with you. AH-825, copy that. We're checking to see if anyone knows who this is. Stand by. AH-825, can you see the aircraft type?
Hey, hey, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. It's a new day. Your holiday begins now. I just went back a ways to see if we were being followed. I think we're safe. Oh no, I'm safe. We gotta get out of here. It was just a dream. We never should have stopped. Where are we going? Joanna? Really? Yeah? What do they look like? Well, if you really want to know, there's, first of all, about a hundred different types of aliens. Uh, so George Lucas got it right. Very funny. <laughs> Sorry, Star Wars fan. I can only talk about the three that I've seen. There's the greys, which have big heads, long limbs, about three to five feet tall. Then there's the masters of greys, usually aboard a ship. They're longer limbs, about seven to eight feet tall. So what's the last type? Not technically an alien. Well, not technically an alien, then what? It's a... A hybrid. You mean an alien crossed with... A human? Joe, how is that possible? I'm gonna leave that for Lance. He was in charge of Catch Fire, and at the time, it was about communicating with the aliens. He says he communicates with aliens, and you believe him. Martin, wait! I do not communicate with the visitors, Martin. You do. Lance Evenoff. Martin fell. Lance Ivanov. I know that name. Do I know you? Not yet. But you did. That's us still entering the base. All safe, forward. From the aliens? Would you believe me if I said yes? He found the birds. So what is this place? A safe house. Completely off-grid. Self-sufficient in every way. We draw power from the panels above. And we are hacked into a few aging, decommissioned military settlements. Safe house means you're in hiding. Hiding from what, Agent Bowie? Because you communicate with aliens? Visit. But you don't know how to speak to them. Or understand their language. I was hoping you would tell me. Humor me. Please. No, it's no. don't. Please. Please sit down and give it a second try. We'll leave you alone. Martin fell. Positive.
Yes, the same one from two years ago. No, he has a list. I don't think he realizes what it is. Of course, his name is on it. He doesn't remember a thing, like all the other unchosens. Sir, Operation Catch Fire is secure for now. Don't I always? Welcome to the base camp. Martin, this is Andre, my brother. He watches over me. We've been waiting for you. We? All of the unchosen. Everyone here is what we used to classify in Catch Fire program as an unchosen. Yeah, I recognize some faces. It's all on here. Uh-huh. Is that my wife? She has a file, just no pictures. All these people, like you, were with a loved one when they were abducted. I'm surprised he doesn't recognize more. Yeah. Why would I know these people? Look, I'm not here to join the hole in the wall gang, okay? Joe brought me here because your buddy Ray Bowie is after me because of something I know or something I saw. Maybe what's in those files, I really don't care. So what do you really care about, Martin? My daughter. Joe said you could help me find her. Yes. All right, let's walk. for you. Thank you. How did you find Giovanna? Online. I was searching for anything that could help me make sense of what was happening. I guess I just stumbled upon her number. <laughs> you really believe you've just stumbled upon her number? If you check, I think you'll find it's an unregistered set line. Giovanna is not an unchosen. I know she thinks she is, but she's not. She's something more. She was abducted. What? Then she was returned for a reason. And when she was, her memory was erased. So the person she thinks she lost? Was the one she left behind. Wait, so... So Terry can return too? Yes. How? Through you. Me? You don't just have the ability to communicate with the visitors. You've got a special ability to communicate with one specific visitor. How do you know that? I've been following people like you for years. When Bully realized that there were people like you, civilian interpreters, who are able to tune into a higher frequency. Higher frequency, huh? That's what you call it. Catch Fire was created to document communication with the aliens. And we were almost there once we discovered you and Andres like you. So what happened? Ah. Bowie 
and even the others in that project began to think that it was a conspiracy, creating hybrids to act as sleeper cells amongst our own civilization. They are here, and more are coming. Lots more. When? We don't know. Soon. <laughs> so why do you think they're coming, huh? Why do you think they're coming? Why do you think they're coming? If you ask Bowie to innovate. I didn't ask Bowie, did I? Did you hear me ask Bowie? Didn't ask you either. I'm asking you. Well, I think they are bringing the hybrids home. Home? Yes. As simple as that. A kind of homecoming. You ever have to use that? Sometimes. Mind if I join you? It's warm. <laughs> You told me that you don't remember a single thing about your wife. No, I don't. Can't even remember her face. Me or Terry. Do you have any photos of her? It's like they all disappeared when she did. Earlier, you said that you can see the symbol whenever we cross paths. What did you mean by that? You're tuned to higher frequency. I'm sure Lance told you. Yeah, he did. I knew as soon as I heard your voice. I feel it sometimes, too. It's stronger when I'm near someone who's high tuned. Step out of the car, please. <laughs> Jacek Palkowski. Been waiting a long time to talk to you. <clears throat> Find out what he knows. We're moving at daybreak. Breathe through your nose. Only. Not your mouth. Close your eyes. And focus on your breathing. Feel the air flowing all the way in to the back of your head. Once. Take a deep breath. Twice. Inhale. And inhale. And you will find your nose moving in the shape of the symbol. Now, you are tuned in. Keep breathing as your nose begins to move in a figure eight pattern. To right, right to left, up and down. Now, you are connected to your higher self. And keep on breathing. And finally, you will feel 
that your nose starts to describe the number one. Yes, exactly. And this number one is always your affirmation to any question. Now go ahead, man. Terry. Where are you, monkey? It's me. Where are you? Please, help me remember. Yes. Yes. What you've just experienced is called telepathy. You got it. If you want to, you can close your eyes. Thank you. Time to go. Not yet. Buy me some time, Andre. You too.
We'll hold them up for a while. It's Bowie. How'd he find us? He's here for me. Geocaching. What about it? Just follow the sign that means something to you. Okay? The rest are decoys. Let's move on. Go, go, go. Thank you. It emerges in the guard check on the other side of the solar field. Once you go, you will seal the hatch. It's your only option for escape. Good luck. Seal the hatch. Good. It's nice to see you, Lance. Don't do it. Go. I'm not gonna say it again, go. She's still alive. you say? There is always another way. What is this place? Geocaching? That's a game. We used to play it with Terry when she was a kid. Yeah, they, uh, they hide things like, like money, prizes, pictures, books. And they post the exact location, longitude and latitude up on websites. And you go to these sites and you use the coordinates like a treasure map. That's fun. So what did he say? Follow the clues that mean something to you? Yeah, right here. Um, no. No. Ah, oh, damn, come on, you. There we go. No. No. Uh, no, no. No. There we go. The international sign for geocaching. It looks like the symbol. Let's get after him. Okay. It's taking us deeper into the woods.
It's on the other side of this wall. We can try and climb it. Oh, come on, there has to be a way in. You okay? Let me go east. Where's the entrance west? I know where to go. Come on, this way. These are coordinates to locations, no? Yeah, about a hundred of them. Well, I only need the one they went to. They're on foot, and the tunnel goes north. So I suggest we start with the ones closest to there. Take me to the nearest site on this map. How close are we to these coordinates? Another two clicks into the mountains, sir. I know this place. It's where they used to live. Where they were kept. Where who was kept? I'm starting to remember. Lance was right, I've met him before. I've been here before. Blow the door. Now. Terry? 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 <laughs> I'm looking for my daughter. I know you. You know where my daughter is. Her name's Terry. Terry? Oh, <laughs> 
Are you, are you, are you hurt? I'm fine, Dad. Are you okay? I'm okay. I can't lose you again, monkey. Oh my God. Let's go. He's waiting for you, Dad. No, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not go. leaving you. Go. Just go. Where are you going? We will make sure your time with Alpha One is not interrupted. It's okay. I know what we have to do. It's okay. Come on. Where's this place? It's where the UN used to keep them. Them. Do you see that? March 2004, at the age of 13, from Grand Junction, Colorado. You do not remember your time with me here, before. No. Tell me. Please help me remember. have been coming here since 1947, when their first attempt to land on Earth resulted in a crash at Roswell. We brokered a deal between humans and greys. 
technology for humanity. You're Fell's daughter. Shoot her now! No! of technology while you slowly brought them back from extinction by giving them the hybrids. to fiber optics, computers, internet, but the Council of Ten didn't trust in the deal, which eventually led to certain human factions pursuing the hybrids. And that's where you came in. And places like this? Yes. Hidden in the woods? A place to reunite hybrid families. Empathy and emotion is a necessary sustenance for a part human child, which the Greys lack which made them dangerous to those who were afraid, creating a need for a human mother to stabilize the child, out of fear that otherwise the hybrids would become easy to manipulate. Yes. So we had to keep them hidden. Hidden from those who did not understand their intentions, who wanted to control the power of the hybrids no matter the cost. Yes. You are both beginning to remember. Both. We choose to forget. You mean Joe is Anna? We chose to have our memories erased. We chose to. Both of us, Anna. To protect everyone in our lives. Everyone that we cared about.
I've missed you so much, Anna. I miss you every day of my life. Anna, you were taken. It was a long, long time ago. And then we discovered that you tuned into a higher frequency. You couldn't have children. Yet you came back with child. Terry was our gift. It, it was, was decided to keep your family intact, no matter what. You and the others with your ability to translate. We didn't know that our own kind would come after us for it. We suspected. Human emotion often leads to human miscalculation. Oh, he was getting closer and closer. And even with Lance promising to protect her, we knew he would eventually come for Terry. We asked you to hide her. Hide her in plain sight. But we made sure we always had a way back to each other. I will always know you. Always. There is always another way. Always. There's always another way. Always. There is always another way. I don't remember the drive being so beautiful. Yeah, you always loved this drive. Much longer until we get there. You sound just like your mother. I love you, Daddy. Can't wait to see the cottage.